Okay, so in this problem, we're told the cable supporting a 2,125 kilogram elevator has a maximum strength of 21,750 newtons. What maximum upward acceleration can it give the elevator without breaking? So in this problem, we're given two things. We're given the mass of the elevator, which is 2,125 kg, and we're also giving the maximum, uh, maximum strength of basically this cord right here of the elevator. So this is going to be the max force that it can uh, exert on this elevator. So uh, we know those two things, and what we're going to be solving for is the maximum acceleration uh, that this elevator can travel when this force is being applied. So how are we going to do this? So uh, generally when you're solving for acceleration like this, you want to do the sum of the forces. So what we're going to do is sum the forces and draw the free body, di uh, free body diagram of what's acting on this elevator here. So the two forces acting are going to be uh, the force due to gravity, which is equal to mg. So uh, the force due to gravity is just its mass times uh, acceleration due to gravity. And then the other force is going to be the force that's being applied. So F sub n, we can assume it's just this cord, right? So the elevator has a cord that's pulling it up, which has a force maximum of 2000 or 21,750 newtons. And so this could range realistically, but they just tell us the max. And so the way we do this is we sum up the forces along this, dire uh, this direction here. So we know the sum of the forces, we know F equals MA. So the sum of the forces uh, in the Y is just gonna be equal to M multiplied by A sub Y, where A sub Y is the acceleration in this Y direction. And so what we wanna do is say MA sub Y equals the sum of the forces. So we're gonna sum the forces along this Y. And so I'm choosing this to be the Y uh, because it's basically like a graph here of the Y axis. So what we wanna do is add up these two forces. So uh, what you have to do is label them based on their direction. So F sub M is going upwards. And so generally if something goes upwards, I like to label it positive. Uh, but you have to distinguish the direction. So mg is going down, so I'm writing minus mg. So these two net or these two forces adding up, which is like the net force in the y, has to be equal to m a sub y. And what we're trying to find is the acceleration in the y or a sub y. That's what they want us to find. So if we want a sub y, you just do f sub m minus mg divided by m. And so you'll see a sub y is equal to our maximum force, or the force being applied on this cable. In this case, we're assuming it's the maximum force, uh, divided by m minus, and then the m is going to cancel on this term, so it's just minus g. And so if we want to find the acceleration when we apply some force on this elevator, uh, which is 2175, we just got to plug in this formula, and that'll tell us uh, how fast it's going to be accelerating. So plugging it in, we know the maximum was 21,750. Uh, and then we have to take and divide by its mass here, which is 2125, and then minus g. So g is the acceleration due to gravity. It's just a constant value here, uh, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So a sub y equals, and then let me get out my calculator. And let's see what this is equal to. So 21,750 divided by 2125 minus 9.8. So you'll get 0.435, and then the units are going to be meters per second squared. That's how we measure acceleration. So you can round this wherever you'd like. You can say 0.44. Uh, just make sure how you do it how your teacher would like you to. But uh, essentially, the, it's going to accelerate if we apply this force at 0.44 uh, meters per second squared. And obviously, it's upwards because the force is being applied upwards. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just a quick recap. In order to find it, you just sum the forces. That's generally how most of these problems work. Uh, and then we wanted to find the acceleration. So we just had to sum the forces acting on it. And then they actually give us the information. So really, it's just plugging it in after that point. And uh, yeah, so 0.44 meters per second squared, that's going to be the maximum upward acceleration uh, without breaking. Because if it was any greater this force, it would actually break. So we just use the maximum force there. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this video helpful.